Hey, hi there you guys, Gemini. Welcome to your general forecast. Crosswatcher energies are interchangeable, but only take those portions that are resonating with you. And remember to check out your moon and rising and Venus sign videos for a more complete picture. My readings, they do meld together. And I'd really like to thank you guys, Gemini, for supporting my channel. The likes and the subscribes and the comments and those donations. Thank you so very much. It really helps me out a lot. Thank you. Today you're going to get five cards from the Rider Weight deck and one card from the Wisdom of the Oracle. And now here's your first card. It's the general atmosphere. It's the background and the basis of the matter. Gemini, you've got the Queen of Pentacles, Earth Energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is someone who is domestic and nurturing. They're fertile. They love their home, their gardens. They love taking care of the people around them. And they may be focused on their money, their time. They're generous and benevolent. This is someone that is affectionate and caring. And they know how to manage money. This can be help given of a practical nature. It has to do with material concerns, contentment, material plenty. This is someone contemplating and taking time con to consider all their options before they proceed. And they have a valuable lesson to teach us. They teach us that what is cherished must be cared for. Your second card, and this is the energy that's crossing over your path. These are your subconscious influences, Gemini. The Ace of Pentacles, Earth Energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn a divine gift from the universe, a golden opportunity. This is a gateway card. It's new money, new success, new opportunity. It's an opportunity for real concrete growth. Yet in this position, it is restricted. There's a challenge. It's bringing in tension. It could be a false start. This can be comfortable material conditions that may not be to the advantage of you. It could be over-dependence on security and wealth. And it's not a gift unless you give it away. Someone may have an overemphasis on money, security, and physical health issues. There could be a lack of a financial opportunity or a premature start. It could carry a risk. The Queen of Pentacles with the Ace of Pentacles could be a home move, also finance management. It's nurturing a golden opportunity. It's inner satisfaction, a new project, and it's guidance in love and money. Your third card, this is how it affects you. These are the external influences that you're consciously aware of, Gemini. Number 16 of the Major Arcana in the Rider Waite deck, the Tower. This could be a Scorpio or an Aries. This card is ruled by Mars and Pluto. This could be someone that has an emotional explosion. could be a surprise because of a sudden shock. It may be a dramatic change. And it can be sudden and painful like the sting of a scorpion. It's lightning quick and there are unseen forces at work here. These are big changes you may have to deal with and you may be questioning your beliefs. This can be a shocking revelation Action and release, shaking things up. This is something that's out of your control. This is maybe having a falling out. Someone could have lost a secure position. Maybe they were shocked out of complacency, even stripped of defenses. Someone could have been suddenly exposed or enlightened. This could be someone that's experiencing an injury or a betrayal. 
It is driving out obstacles to greater awareness. It's detoxifying, shaking up the status quo, angrily confronting, even learning the hard way. The Queen of Pentacles with the Tower is arguments in the family unit. Your fourth card, the card of the future, the outcome, and the results. The Seven of Cups, Gemini, water energy. This is Venus in Scorpio. This is a lot of options. It's dreams, visions, fantasy, imagination. Some of these could be an illusion, and there's a choice. These are symbols of the gifts and tests to be handled during your life. This is so many options available that there's difficulty choosing. So you're exploring options with some confusion because not all these choices are based in reality. There's imagination and wishful thinking, even escaping reality drug use, or too much drinking. There's a great creative potential with this card, so let your feelings guide you. And watch out for people around you that may not be truthful. This is the gambler card. So only do what is 100% secure, and think before you jump in. This could be the lure of the get-rich-quick scheme, being tempted, there may be unrealistic expectations. There's multiple choices, dreaming, altered states, having high hopes, false hope, escaping reality, being up in la-la land, having your head in the clouds. Someone may have so many choices available that then indecision prevents, prevents them from choosing anything. So dreaming of all that could be may be keeping you from focusing on the here and now, and that would prevent forward progress. So shake things up. Wow, even the tower card says that. Shake things up. And recognize other paths that you can take. Visualize your goals, but focus is needed. The Queen of Pentacles with the Seven of Cups is trying to decide on a particular path or solution. It's looking over options and choices. It can also represent the honey-do list. Your fifth card. It's the bottom of the deck card. The underlying issue. This is what's unseen. It's unseen. It's because it's something that you're, you are aware of. Or you're just not sharing it with other people. Number 14 of the Major Arcana in the Rider Waite deck, Temperance. This card is ruled by Jupiter. This could be a Sagittarius. Sagittarius could be in your chart or someone else's that you're dealing with. This is adapting and tempering and using patience and compromise. It's being accommodating and patient, tolerant and adaptable, conciliatory. It's blending and making adjustments and compromising. It's being modest and healthy, resourceful, balanced. This is integrating opposites. It's consolidating and accepting the good, good and bad within yourself, and making it work, and finding a balance between two sides and leaving the excesses behind you. It's being a peacemaker, and it's blending and avoiding extremes, and finding middle ground. And there is a caution to have patience and wait. Wait calmly, even if it seems like nothing is happening around you. But it is. The Queen of Pentacles with the Temperance card is spending wisely, but not denying yourself the things that you need or want. This is a nurturing person with patience and compromise. The Ace of Pentacles with the Tower card. This is changing your appearance. It could also be you have not made up your mind on what to do with this new gift or money 
or opportunity. It's getting the ball rolling on your dream. The Ace of Pentacles with the Temperance card is patience and be moderate with a new tangible opportunity. It's committing to a new health routine. It's healing after stress or injury or exercise. The Tower with the Seven of Cups is not making a decision even after realizing a certain truth. It may be just seeing what you want to see. This could be an urgent and forced choice and not being able to process a shocking event. It could be excessive drinking, a burst of emotion and insights. It's a shocking event, but illusion still continues. The Tower with the Temperance card is accepting and allowing the cleansing of destruction. You'll need to temper fear and troubles with love. There's no point in fighting it. Self-control has been challenged by outside forces. This is something that has been finished. You'll need to take a break or start planning new activities. The Seven of Cups with the Temperance card is confusing choices and temptations. It's not having as much control as you would like to have, feeling overwhelmed. You may need to ask yourself if you are lying to yourself. Here's your Wisdom of the Oracle card by Colette Baron reed Card number 33, Chaos and Conflict. Card number 33, Chaos and Conflict. I wonder if that's going to be going with the Tower card there. Disarray, being at cross purposes with another, the tension of opposites, and the value of chaos before order. Opposing forces come together to create a turbulent atmosphere, but consider the value of chaos that serves you well as you become unmoored by it. Scattered to the winds, you leave behind the parts of yourself you no longer need and disperse seeds to reinvent yourself anew. Although the conflict appears to exist externally, well, this could be just like the tower, it's an essence is also internal projected outward and causing disarray. You may find yourself at a cross purposes with someone else, facing a storm you feel you can't control. Yet every storm passes, and chaos leads to a reordering of things. Conflict provides a way to see more than a one side of a situation. Look upon this as just a moment in time when you may need to take shelter and step away from the fray. Don't be too eager to fight. This is a time to understand rather than to be understood. Thanks, you guys, Gemini. I hope you stay tuned in and leave me a comment or a thumbs up. And please subscribe. Now remember, what goes around comes around. So I'm sending you guys out love and light and blessings. Thanks for watching.